what? I don't know. Why don't you tell people about your new investment? I don't think people have even seen it. They knew you were getting an E46. I don't think they've ever seen it. But what's in your heart? So Brian got an E46. M3. It's already getting stripped out to the interior. You already stripped the interior because Honda Civic. Has the coolest interior for an E46 and removes it. Yeah. Had the peanut butter interior and everybody lost their mind when he was like, the cinnamon. you're selling it? Yeah, cinnamon. They lose their minds. Alpine and cinnamon. What? I want stock interior for what I'm going to use this car for. It's true. Exactly. Tell us, Brian, when you built your R32 for the track, how many times did you take your Not, R32 to the track? I had it built for like two months. <laughs> <laughs> that car got boring. Brian, what are we doing today? CAE shifter. Yes. And my new E46 M3. Over the course of the next few, what, like months, I guess, over the course of this winter, winter, we're going to be doing a bunch of what kind of mods, like kit. function related mods. But I mean, like over this whole winter, it's going to be like interior stuff, like for Carl's safety equipment, yep. obviously things like this, like fun driving mods, splitters. Functional splitters, diffusers. Yeah, aero, air conditioning deleting. Hopefully new wheels, AC deleting. Maintenance. Yeah. Tons Probably maybe maintenance. cams. This winter? You heard it here first? Winter's like four months. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Winter's yeah. four months and Brian builds an entire car in that period of time and sells it anyways, so. And this thing is beautiful. So we gotta pull some crap out of the inside and then pull the exhaust off and then... That's good anyways, have for sale. Kind of install it. Hit us up in the comments with questions about what's gonna happen. Yeah, comments, suggestions. No, oh, I will yeah. not get another Volkswagen, so no. <laughs> yeah. don't ask that question. I don't think this is gonna be so much of a DIY as just like a come with us on this CAE shifter install adventure. Um, and then maybe once you start getting more M3 followers, so if you're like an E46 M3 guy and you subscribe, like let us know below and we'll start doing like actual DIY videos like we were doing with the R32. But I think for this one, and it's already actually really late, it's like 9 p.m. and we're starting this. He has work in the morning and I have school tomorrow, so that's why we're not taking the time to do a DIY partly as well. <laughs> I wish it was like smaller. Being a little thin. So how did the interior come apart compared to the R32? Way better. Really? It was like easier? Insanely easier. Oh, the shifter already feels fucking nice. Well yeah, it's a short shifter. Still has a lot of center play. I don't understand this. I don't either. Why do they do this? What is it with car manufacturers and just being like, oh, neutrals this entire area? I'm trying to see what we gotta do to gain access to this area. Oh, that's gonna be easier. There's some wires back there. I can't figure it out. There's some one up there. I need a wide angle lens. We need to start like a, one of those like support channels so people can send us money so we can buy stuff to make better videos.
we're just gonna disconnect that rear support mount thing, right? Yeah. Just so the transmission can come down a little bit so we have room to pull the <coughs> shifter down. Yep. Word. This is the clip the, the we needed to get at. But moving the exhaust wasn't really necessary, but Brian's selling it, so we just figured we'd pull it. Anyways, now back to actually doing the shifter install. Well, that's it. That's pretty easy. And now we can just pull the shifter out from the top. Yeah. Still trying to figure out how to get this down, but. Okay. Good, I'll take it. Found neat, broke stuff. <laughs> Hello, Brian. I'm ripped. Please fix me, Brian. So, there was nothing on this this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens. I think the train's gonna come down more. I think it can now. So, one more bracket to pull out. Brian gets stuff out of the way, just, just bend it, just bend it, it's fine. The exhaust shield, you're just like, skirt. Oh. Fuck it. You want me to just try pulling up? Yeah. I think this, this might just come out of the actual thing. No, it's like a compression fit. Ugh. Come down. Hey. Hey! And that's how we figure stuff out. So the shifter's out, gents, squatties. Oh, time to freaking get CAE stuff in here. Current dilemma is figuring out the position of this thing. I mean, it seems pretty center of that hole. Do you, is there any like cool? Images? Dude, it's hard. These are like the best ones I've found. Yeah, not many people have done this in their M3, and then even fewer people have documented it. <laughs> so. So I think you probably want to move it a little bit to the left. Yeah. God, that looks that's, so sick, though. Well, the thing is, it's like, okay, so if you move it over. <laughs> so if you move it over, yeah. when you go to. When you go over to like fifth and sixth, the selector rod's gonna hit the bottom here, won't it? Because it's gonna have to tip. So like when it's over here, for example, see how it kind of goes back down. That's what it looks like from the bottom. Just trying to figure out where we gotta mark and drill these holes, because you really only get one shot at it. So. How is this? Continued. To be like continued another day. It's like way too late, so instead of like continue on, I have to be up at it's five, like five a.m. Yeah, instead of continuing on and like no. messing something up, we're just gonna tackle the rest of this another day. So, hopefully, so hopefully I'll be around for the next installment of dun dun dun. CAE shifter install. Round two. Trying to follow universal instructions.